Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Set up a customer approval workflow. In Dynamics 365 Business Central, approval workflows give us added control over our data by requiring that at least two people are involved when someone creates or changes sales and purchase documents, adds or updates customers, or posts payment journals. When someone does any of those things, a designated approver is notified and must sign off on the new information before it can be applied. To make it easier to set up approval workflows, Business Central offers assisted setup guides that help us through the processes. In this video, we'll focus on creating an approval workflow that will start when someone creates a new customer. Now, before we can start with the actual workflow, we need to specify the people who will be involved in the process as users and approvers, and how and when they will be notified that they need to take an action. We'll start by defining the events that will trigger our workflow. To do that, we'll search for the Workflow Event slash Response Combinations page. The events we're looking for are a customer record is changed and approval of a customer is requested. For each event, we'll choose the Remove Record Restriction, Approve the Approval Request for the Record, and the Create an Approval Request for the Record using Approver Type Percentage 1 and Percentage 2 checkboxes. Now we'll set up our users. We'll search for the Workflow User Group page and then choose the username for each user and set their position in the sequence. For approvers, we'll first create them as workflow users, like we just did. To make the workflow user an approver, we'll search for the Approval User Setup page. There are several options, but for the Customer Approval Workflow, we just need to add the user in the User ID field and then enter their email address. To define how and when the approver is notified, we'll choose Notification Setup. In the Notification Type field, we'll choose New Record. In the Notification Method field, we'll choose Email. Now we'll specify when to send no notifications. We want our approver to be notified immediately, so we'll leave Instantly in the Schedule field. OK, we've laid the groundwork for our workflow. Now let's use the Assisted Setup Guide to create the actual workflow. We'll search for Assisted Setup, and then choose the Assisted Setup link in the search results. To start the guide, we'll choose Set up a Customer Approval Workflow. The first page gives us some information about the process. We'll choose Next to go to the next step. We'll choose our approver and when the workflow will start. There are two options to choose. The user sends an approval request manually and the user changes a specific field. If we choose the second option, in the next step we would need to define the specific field that will trigger the workflow. Additionally, we can specify the message to display when the workflow starts. We want users to submit requests manually, so we'll go back and choose the option The User Sends an Approval Request Manually. We'll choose Next, and then Finish to enable our workflow. If at some point we want to change something in the workflow, we can search for Workflows and choose the Workflows link in the search results. In the Workflows list, we'll find the Customer Approval Workflow we created, and then make our changes. Thanks for watching. We've just seen how to get people involved in an approval workflow, 
and define how and when they will be prompted to act.